Steve White with you here at the West Central Research and Extension Center with Julie Peterson. <laughs> Julie, you and I, we've been in these fields before. I've been in the corn fields here. Mm -hmm. This isn't corn though, this is hops. This is hops. This is not a field you see a ton in Nebraska, but it is a growing specialty crop area. We were really lucky to establish this hop yard about three years ago. Uh, Dr. Milos Zaric does research here, um, really helping the uh, specialty crop producers understand how to grow hops in Nebraska, uh, different herbicide programs. We do some pest monitoring as well. Um, to give them some ideas about what insects and other pests they may need to be dealing with. That's the beauty of extension though. You're able to do research on things that uh, are kind of giving you ideas of what maybe the future could hold. Here's a crop you could do. I mean, whether it's hops or it's field peas or it's uh, doing those things that producers don't know yet, but you can help introduce them and see how they fit into a producer's operation. Yeah, I think being able to help the producers with not only the problems they have today, but thinking about what they might want to be doing in the future is a really cool thing about extension. Um, we do a lot of that, sort of trying to meet them where they are right now, but also think about what's going to be the challenges and the issues of the future for production as well. And if we cross the road, certainly this looks a little more familiar to most <laughs> Nebraskans. Yes. Uh, obviously you have you have both corn and cattle here on site, mm -hmm. as well as West Central isn't just North Platts. If we go up the road out into, well, out into the Sand Hills, you have a really unique laboratory unlike anything else in the States. Yes, we are really lucky to have fantastic cropping um, acreage here for corn, soybean, cover crops, wheat production. Um, but we're really lucky to have the Goodmanson Sand Hills Laboratory um, up north in the Sand Hills. It's about over 12,000 acres of ranch land and about 500 head of cattle. There's a variety of really great applied research programs. Uh, folks from the Panhandle and West Central and Lincoln all come and work together there. Um, one project right now is the ADAPT project. Okay. This is really trying to answer questions about what's the true environmental impact of um, ranching and livestock and beef production. Mm. Um, so this is really getting some good dollars and cents and numbers um, plugged into that question. We're giving people a little behind the scenes view because <laughs> if you've driven by North Platte, you've probably been right by here. I mean, you're only a couple of minutes off the interstate. Mm -hmm. People, mm -hmm. thousands of people would drive within a couple of miles over here every day and they don't get to see all of this. Yeah, we really have fantastic resources here and we have some unique resources as well. Um, one is the wind tunnel facility. Okay. Um, Dr. Milos Saric has his precision application technology right. lab there. This is really a world-class facility. Um, if you've ever applied an herbicide, you know that the label is law and the label is very critical for knowing how to apply safety, safely and effectively. And um, the work that's done in that wind tunnel um, is really important for creating and updating those labels. So reducing drift, getting the product where you want it to be. Uh, that's actually some of the work that we're doing in the fields adjacent to us is doing um, applications um, of insecticides and herbicides and looking at the deposition of those products in the field so we can maximize their effect and their efficiency. Well, Julie, it's been fun to, uh, to walk around <laughs> with you. It's really peaceful here. We run here on a nice calm day and uh, people are just doing their work and hopefully that advances yeah. the future of agriculture in Nebraska, right? Yes, absolutely. We love it here. We'd love to invite stakeholders, um, anyone who'd like to come out. We do tours of the center. Actually, on our website now, we have a little link you can click to request to set up a tour of our center. We'd love to have you out here. Well, Julie, good to see you. Good to see you. And that is our tour here at West Central in North Platte.